So what is memory? Memory is the process by which the mind takes information to be encoded and stored away in the brain so that it's readily accessible for later retrieval. The way we can remember getting our first bike for Christmas when we were five years old with such detail, imagery, and emotion is all a result of memory. Memory is one of the main fascinating functions of human cognition, but it's not without its imperfections. Memory doesn't function like a recording device to give perfect accounts of an experience, but rather to store bits of meaningful information based on our perceptions of the world so that we are better equipped to simulate and handle the future. Today, we'll be looking at memory for objects that we see every day and how we might only remember such objects to the extent in which they are useful to us in everyday life. So here we are in front of the San Antonio Police Department headquarters. We're gonna put our most keen observer's memory to the test. Say these objects. How familiar with these objects are, would you say you are? Very well. You see this pretty almost every day, right? Yes. Okay. So, how familiar are you with this one? Pretty, pretty decent. Can you pay good attention to detail? You Maybe. say? We'll see. <laughs> are these objects pretty familiar to you? Uh, pretty, pretty often. Yeah, pretty often? Yeah. You see them fairly often? Uh, mm, yes, ma'am. Okay. Would you say you are with these objects? Very. Yeah? Would you say that you are with these pictures? Very. And how confident are you that you can pick out one of these? Very well. Okay. Well, let's test your confidence. Uh, oh. Hmm. Try to differentiate if there's anything specifically different. Um. <laughs> if you had to narrow it down. Um, I really I don't see anything specifically different. I would say three. I don't know. Three? I'm just randomly guessing. Okay. But I see so, nothing specifically unusual. Six is actually the correct answer. And it's perfectly normal that you got this wrong. Okay. So basically, our memory for common objects that we see every day is not supposed to be good. Because how useful is it for you to remember all the details of this logo, right? Correct. Our brains work at such high rates of efficiency that sometimes we encode just enough information to help us get by every day. Simply recognizing the logo as a symbol of an association that they're part of is the only extent in which they need to remember it. To store every detail of this logo would not prove to be anywhere near as useful as other types of information, such as memory of where to locate food and water. So how confident are you that you'd be able to pick one of them out from, I guess, a lineup? I feel pretty confident. Yeah? Okay. Let's test your confidence. Correct one is number two. Okay, are you confident? Yes. Okay, confident. we'll go with number two. That's actually the wrong answer, but that's okay. We'll be in that well. Three. Three? That is not correct. It's actually number six. Okay, so. That's actually not correct, it is number six. So what happened here? Did the officers forget the logo of their association? Well, they couldn't actually forget something that wasn't in their long-term memory to begin with. In order to create a memory for an object, an individual has to perceive the object, attend to it, then organize and transfer the information to store in the brain. In this case, the officers perceived and may have attended to the logo every time they encountered it in their workplace, but never successfully transferred the full details of this logo into their long-term memory. This is what we call an encoding failure. It is something that everyone is susceptible to, not just our participants in this video. That's the most common one so far. But it's actually number six. Number six, without yeah. the door. Yeah. Can we lay those on? It doesn't have a... I think it's the bottom right. Number six? Yeah. That's actually really correct. Good job. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I know we have the first one. <laughs> Memories are not stored in a single portion of the brain, but rather in a distributed manner across neuronal connections that are strengthened to create a memory. 
Strengthening connections between neurons can add to the density of your brain, making it physically larger as we gain more experiences. So it actually may be healthy that we only store as much information as we need to get by. Otherwise, our brain would get too large for our school. So sometimes forgetting is a good thing, and not storing some information can be a good thing too, and important to our physical brain health. So in short, we all experience encoding failures. In this case, our heroes in blue didn't simply forget but rather they didn't know or never encoded the information into their long-term memory due to a highly efficient brain.